Good afternoon and welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We've been coming to you live from the Singapore FinTech Festival. Joining me for the segment, we have David Treat. He's the Global Blockchain Lead over at Accenture. Thank you so much for joining us for this segment. Now, it's great to have a fellow New Yorker on with me. My first time in Singapore, so tell us a little bit about the conference. I can't believe the amount of people that are in this building. It's, uh, it's a huge testament to the ABS and AMAS's focus and, uh, and focus on innovation in the region and their commitment to this. The conference has grown enormously every year. So uh, I was just with uh, Mrs. Ong this morning and uh, congratulating her on uh, you know just another huge success. And this is only the third year, and there's what over thirty thousand people in attendance. Yeah, and uh, you know, and the space can handle it, but it's uh, it's it's almost overwhelming, right? It's a huge, yeah. huge concentration of content and experts, and I think it's a testament to you know the financial center that's really have, that has been created in Singapore for sure. Yes. All yeah. right. Well, let's talk about um, while you're joining us today, blockchain, the path to production, and there's three key reasons that you see that happening. First, being scalability. Yeah, so scalability, we made an announcement several weeks ago of work that we did with the DTCC where they they wanted to challenge the uh, challenge the platforms to see what, could they handle the largest of use cases. So we took U.S. equities clearing volume. You know the you know DTCC mm -hmm. handles uh, you know the entirety of U.S. equities clearing. We took the the peak volume for an average hour in a day, and we ended up building on multiple pl multiple DLT platforms uh, the ability to push 115 million trades in five hours. It uh, it was an enormous confidence builder that actually this technology can scale. Nothing had gotten to that that uh, that volume. Scale, you know, heretofore, so uh, it's a big confidence. That's, that's quite an achievement. Yeah. How about interoperability? The second component. Yeah, so interoperability, we we also have just reached, re, re, reached recently uh, the ability. I'm going to define it as the ability for one DLT system or blockchain system to work with another one. As naturally, there are different ecosystems forming that will have to start to work together over time. A supply chain ecosystem working with a trade finance ecosystem, and so we built it on Hyperledger. Uh, we built four exa two examples of it with four platforms, uh, Hyperledger Fabric and uh, JP Morgan's Quorum, and recent, most recently R3 Quarta and Digital Assets Platform. And we've got it to work, and it's a very pragmatic approach. Again, it's a confidence builder to say, you don't you know, necessarily have to worry about, did I pick the wrong platform, or am I not going to be able to work with a partner in another ecosystem? We're, we're working to solve that. And that's the natural lead into the third component, security. I'm sure that's a big question that comes up when we have this quite in the open and decentralized. It is, yeah, and in financial services, we know security just as well as any, you know, more about, you know, we, we know it, right? So uh, we partnered with the uh, industry leading provider of what are called hardware security modules. Uh, it's by a company called Talus uh, to basically be able to plug DLT systems, blockchain systems, into the standard, the gold standard for security, which are these physical hardware devices. So we're doing that for our core use cases, like, you know, something like US equities clearing. Um, we're also uh, working on that for the ability to secure tokenized assets, which is obviously a huge concern in this space, uh, you know, around losing, you know, losing tokenized assets. So, um, again, another confidence builder uh, to be able to get the, get us to production. All right. Well, congratulations on all those achievements, and thank you for joining me. And thank you for joining me throughout the day. We're coming to you live from the Singapore FinTech Festival. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.